Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Google has come a long way since last year. This year it seems they are on fire. We all know that Google sort of dropped the ball when it came to large language models, though they have made considerable, considerable progress in the last couple of months. But I believe that the area where they are really shining at the moment is agentic software. And the reason why I am saying that is because I have observed a lot of groundbreaking technologies coming from Google. Most of them are free and open source in the arena. And it seems that not only they are producing the models which are geared towards agentic software, but also the tooling which they are offering is really world class. They have just released this Firebase Studio, which is a simple yet quite powerful agentic development environment all cloud-based that has been designed to accelerate how you build test deploy and run production quality ai applications all in one place so they have sort of streamlined full stack application development and the focus is developer so if you are looking to build or just do a prototype of any application using natural language then you can use firebase studio right now if you are just like me and using free account then you can get started with three free workspaces or if you have uh, if you are part of their developer program which is very easy to apply then you get 10 work uh, spaces but i'm just going to go and use the free account with my gmail account First step you need to do is to just go to studio.firebase.google.com and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So let me just accept the term and condition and then click on confirm. And there you go. We have our Firebase Studio. Let me just make it a bit bigger so that we would be able to see what is happening. There you go. Okay. And on the top right, you can toggle your theme, but I think this one looks really cool. I'm just going to give it this text prompt where I am asking it to create me a responsive and interactive 3D virtual Rubik, Rubik Cubes application that allows users to freely view, interact with and manipulate a virtual cube in a realistic and intuitive manner. So let me click on prototype with AI. And by the way, behind the scene, it uses GenKit, ADK and a lot of other Google stuff. You don't even have to uh, manually do configuration and that sort of thing. So you see, as we speak, it is building that application. And then let's wait for it to come back. And it is doing reasoning and it is doing all that stuff. So I'm just going to take you up. So there you go. So it has built a plan that how we will prototype this app. Take a look below and customize as needed. Or if you are ready, select prototype this app. So it has talked about cube twister. So it has given it a name. These are the future features where we have 3D cube rendering, interactive rotation, responsive design, and then the scrambler. These are the color and that of, I'll just say prototype this app. There you go. So there is a source page on the left hand side. On the right hand side, it is doing the file changes. And you can see this is simply a magic. This is simply sublime. So already you can see that things are moving very, very rapidly. And it has provisioned its API key automatically, the Gemini API key, I believe. You can also edit it on the code easily. It is checking for error. Um, you can add your user authentication. You can change the layout. You can refine the UI. You can add feature. You can even modify the AI flow. And behind the scene, as I said, it is using Gemini, which understands your code base. And even it helps you iterate rapidly without requiring you to dig into the code yourself or even if you don't want to. And you can go through the code. Just click on the file and scroll through. But I'm just going to let it create first. You can even import your own repos if you like. Okay, so it says that it has detected an error. I'll say just fix error. And it has given me that one issue too. There you go. So it is fixing the error. Let's wait for it. And I think it is also trying to show us um, some scramble. So I'll just click on scramble here. There you go. How cool. Wow. This is crazy. 
not bad right that's nice and this is just my mouse which is moving on top of it reset button is not working i'll scramble it again and then you see this is a 3d one and then you can iterate through it to play around there you go i'll just say uh, can you improve scrambling of the cube press enter it's a very vague I mean, you can imagine that you can direct it in a very, very specific direction. There you go, it is improving it. You can write unit tests or whatever you like. And I believe at the moment it is just uh, geared towards Next.js code. I don't think so. It supports any other language at the moment. And if you, when you are satisfied, you can publish this application. And now let's check it out. Yeah, much better. You see, it is much, much better now. So you can iterate through it. You can just check it out. Let's scramble. There you go. There is your scrambling. Beautiful stuff. And now let me just click on Firebase Studio. And this is our application. This is my workspace. And you can even share your workspaces among your colleagues. And then you can go from there. As I said, if you look at this uh, left hand side, you can even import your own repo here. You can create your new app. And I'm sorry, I think I just see that there are some other languages which it supports like Go, Flask, Java, .NET and what is this? There are a lot of languages, my apologies. I thought I read something uh, different on their repo. I thought it was just this. Anyway, so I'm just going to maybe go with Android Studio Cloud. And I'll say my dating app and let's create it. It's an experimental one. Anyway, so let's wait for this. There you go. So it is initializing. It is building. It is finalizing. Let's wait for it. And there you go. So it has given me this error. I don't think so. It is working with this one at the moment. And then so I'm just going. I have just gone back and maybe I can ask it and have that compares large language models that's it and then it is going to create it so you got the idea that it is fairly easy to create these applications quite easily and you see that it has started doing it it has given me the prototype like llm showdown once you click on this um, pencil icon you can also just change it like uh, just show two LLMs that's it and then you can just click on save so you have added it there you go so there are it has changed it and then you can just prototype this app how good is that and as I said earlier uh, once you click on a file like this instance.ts you can change it easily these are all the file changes which are happening. And while building that app, it has uh, it is asking me for Gemini's API key. If you already have your own, you can use that one or you can simply click on auto generate. I really like that. Otherwise, you can grab it from aistudio.google.com. It is already uh, checking our prompt and then it is going to compare it on uh this couple of models which we have given it there you go so charts and gemini response there is also gpt3 response interesting and there you go so it has created it and then you can simply click on compare it is using gemini's response and gpt3 response so this is a, both of them are simulated response there you go and it has given us it's the rating and the winner is a tire it's quite interesting it didn't make gemini the winner anyway so pretty good i would say and then you can as i said you can share it you can uh, preview it you can uh, publish it if you like but i think for publishing you would need a hosting account with them but look all in all uh, really really good stuff 
things are moving at a very rapid pace let me know what do you think before i let you go i would also like to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are agent bot agent bot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like discord slack and others it is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and i will drop the link to their website in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching